with a simple choice plan, but when you return the device, you get your 25 bucks back. So you're probably thinking to yourself, and just like I was, if I already have Wi-Fi at my house, why would I need this? Um, so I thought the same thing. I got T-Mobile on the phone, and I asked them, I'm like, guys, what's the deal? Uh, so essentially, if you have Wi-Fi at your house using Wi-Fi calls, uh, if you're uploading videos or playing games, you're sort of all going through those same pipes. This has what they said proprietary algor algorithms uh, built in. It's going to be prioritized for voice. Uh, it also allow you to do anything else you want. Uh, this is a pretty baller standalone router if you just want to use it as a regular router to replace what you have. Uh, it's got dual band, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Uh, but if you've got a great router at home that also does all that stuff, uh, you can essentially daisy chain it to that. Um, so it'll help up your uh, Wi-Fi calling and also still use your existing router. So it kind of does the best of everything. Uh, and it'll give you essentially full bars of T-Mobile service and wherever the signal reaches. And they said it reaches really far, but we're going to test that, uh, how far that actually reaches. Let's go ahead and open it up. We got a reviewer's guide because we are reviewers. Some stuff to ship that device back. Personal cell spot information and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so this is, a, again, a pretty uh, nice drive. I actually use uh, an Asus router at home. Uh, it's got three antenna ports, again, 2.4 and 2.5 gigahertz. All kinds of other stuff in here as well. It's got 128 megabytes of flash for storing things. Uh, you've got on the back of it, uh, you've got four uh, ports for extension, a USB 3.0, USB 2.0. Uh, so a, a pretty nice looking router. Comes with a power brick, ethernet cable, and the three antennas you need to plug this sucker in. Uh, so T-Mobile claimed that this guy's got crazy range better than anything else we might see. So I figured let's put that to the test. We have at the office uh, the current generation uh, Airport Extreme from Apple with a couple Airport Expresses around here. Uh, so I'm going to see how far I can get on Wi-Fi calling. Then I'm going to set this guy up and see how far I can get with this guy and see if it extends the range uh, like T-Mobile claims. No better test than just to actually use it. Let's go ahead and try it out. So we are just outside of the office right now. I'm connected to our main uh, Techno Buffalo Wi-Fi. It's an Airport Extreme with AC connected to two Airport Expresses. Uh, I've got smart switching turned off so it won't drop down automatically to voice over LTE. It'll automatically just drop the call so we can see how far we can actually go. Uh, and it's a pretty solid router that we've got here. So I'm going to go ahead and just call the office and we're just going to start walking and see how far we get. I'll wait till it connects before I go. And of course the call is being made on T-Mobile's Wi-Fi calling. Hi Ralph. Hello? What's up, John? So we made it to right outside our building before I got the beep and then the Wi-Fi call dropped. Here's where ordinarily it would have just handed off uh, to Volti and I would have just gone on my way, but we turned that part off. Uh, I got pretty far with our router. Let's go ahead and try uh, the T-Mobile router and see if we can get any farther. All right, so we've got our cell spot all hooked up. I'm hooked up to the 5G network it's putting out and I was hooked up to the Airport Extreme's 5G network as well. So it'll be 5G to 5G. Again, I've got smart switch turned off. Let me go ahead and call the office, see how far we can go. Wait till Ralph picks up until we walk. And both routers are placed right next to each other. So there shouldn't be any difference as far as router placement. Hi Ralph, we are testing the cell spot now. All right, so this is as far as we made it uh, with uh, the Airport Extreme, as you can see. We are still connected with the phone number blurred out. Let's see how far we can go before we disconnect. Uh, so we were able to get about an extra 30, 40 feet of range uh, with the cell spot. And we went around corners, downstairs, and eventually outside. If you've got this thing set up in your home or office, uh, you are going to get incredible range on it. If you haven't heard what Wi-Fi calls sound like, they sound so much better than cell quality. Uh, whether you're making a call on Edge, HSPA, HSPA Plus, or LTE, uh, it sounds absolutely incredible. Now, what we haven't tested yet uh, is Volte, and that's voice over LTE. Presumably, that'll sound pretty close to what Wi-Fi sounds like. But if you made calls just over regular uh, cell network, this sounds way, way better. Uh, not to mention the price is pretty killer. I mean, it's hard to sort of say no uh, to free and 25 buck deposit, which you get back. You're also getting a pretty baller router too. It's got USB ports, it's dual band, uh, 802.11 and an AC. It does absolutely everything you need a router to do. So if you had an old router at home and you're looking about buying a new one, just use this and save yourself the 100, 150 bucks, whatever it might cost, and get yourself a new phone uh, or use that towards a phone upgrade or take yourself out to dinner because you know what? You deserve it.
And anyway, guys, what do you think? Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Have you tried Wi-Fi calling? Leave the comments down below. Until next time, I am a very sweaty John Rettinger. See you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We love making tech videos here. And if you like watching them, be sure to hit the giant subscribe button so you know exactly what's happening in the world of technology. And if you like gaming and you want to see us play some games, albeit sometimes kind of badly, check out our new Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo.